Hi there, and welcome to another video by Destinations by Del Castillo. And we are at the Rustic Inn in Jackson, Wyoming. We are right on the outskirts of town and about 10 miles from the Tetons and about an hour drive from um, Yellowstone Park. So anyway, this we chose this place because it has individual cabins, but we're going to let you know a little bit about the cabins before we give you our cabin tour. So I'm doing a big circle. This is one of the back parking lots. This little give you a bit of a property tour here. So they do have guest laundry. That's what that little hut is right there. There are other individual cabins over there. These cabins are like um, units of four that are a little bit bigger space in the bedrooms. Um, and a little living room area, but smaller bathrooms. And then there's also over in that direction are the, what they call the spa suites, which you can see online. And then if you come over here, there's more of the cabins that we're in. So we're going to specifically talk about the individual cabins that come with either two queen beds or a king bed. At the time of booking, as I take a walk towards our cabin, at the time of booking, there were two categories of our cabin type. Um, so if we're talking the individual cabins with two queens or one king, the different types were the regular cabin or the creekside cabin. Um, the creekside cabin was an upcharge of almost $200 a night. But if you um, book a regular cabin at the time, like I said, at the time of booking, there were only two different types. You could get one that faces this courtyard like that or like you saw in the beginning of the video you could end up getting a cabin that faces um, the laundry or a parking lot or right on the side of the road um, this uh, property is wedged between uh, the main road into town from the Tetons and from the creek and we went ahead and got a creekside cabin um, because we didn't want to get stuck with a cabin right on the side of the road or facing a parking lot that would be my husband on the bridge let's take a quick walk up there so if you pay the extra for the creekside cabin you get this view. Now, if you don't want to pay the extra and you get a regular cabin and you chance either a courtyard view or a street or parking lot view, all this area that I'm showing you now, you can access. So if you don't want to pay the extra, you can still come over here for the views and um, sit up here in this fire pit area that's for everyone to use um, or use any of those great benches up there or even these swings that they have down by the creek um, but if you want this view when you wake up in the morning and have your coffee or uh, your wine at night I would suggest paying the extra plus the sound is amazing so here's our cabin we are in 133 and Every cabin gets two Adirondacks and a little table and a private porch. Um, central hair, uh, air and heat. And then, um, because we have a king size cabin, we have a pull-out sofa, two ottomans, and then um, two nightstands with good storage. Um, we also have a little dining table for two people. And then the unit under the flat screen um, has a ton of storage. So that's really nice. Um, it has a cable with, they have cable here with a, like so many channels I can't even imagine, but you're in the Tetons near Yellowstone. So I don't know how much TV you're gonna be watching, but there you go. Then the room comes with Kind of a little mini kitchen here. So you get, um, they give you complimentary bottled water, coffee with um, 
cream and sugar and all that. The wine's not complimentary, we brought that. Um, and then down here, you also get um, an ice bucket and then um, you they have a uh, microwave and then it's not a refrigerator freezer, it's a drink cooler. Um, but it works well enough that it does keep things chilled. Um, okay. Then, um, like I said, when I say storage nightstands, it's because a lot of them just have basic tables. If you're here for a long time, you want to unpack. So this one has a shelf and a drawer. Their lamps are really cute, like little pine cones. Um, and, and then in their closet... You do have ironing board, iron, um, a luggage rack down here, the um, fire extinguisher, and then a safe with plenty of hanging clothes. They offer you two robes and plenty of hangers. So turning back around to see the room from this view, I'll back up into the bathroom here. That's the overall view of the room. It's rustic and it's kind of that Western cowboy feel, but it's really well cupped up. So it's not like dated rustic. And then we'll take you into the bathroom here. So the bathroom um, is nicer than it. I can make it look in this video, but um, so that's kind of the view from, I'm on the foot of the bed right now and the curtains close for privacy, but you do have um, a private toilet room. So in theory, somebody could be using the toilet and somebody be in the shower and still not be in each other's way. Um, there's a pretty little window at the top. So anyway, there's that. And then coming over here, again, lots of storage in the sink area. Um, there's also a blow dryer, tons of towels, and then, um, Turning over to the shower area. It's a really nice big, uh, it's not a tub shower, it's just a shower, but it also has like your choice of regular or rain he shower heads. And then they also give you a makeup mirror and beautiful toiletries. Um, one sink, but I would have one sink and storage over two sinks and no storage, which is often a trade off. And then the shower is really big and um, really pretty too. So anyway, okay, so that is your tour of the individual king size cabin. Um, you can always look online to see what other units are available. But my best advice is if you do this cabin, um, you definitely check into location availability and if they have it divided into different categories so you can pay for the view that you really want. Um, they do have what they call spa units, which come with a lot of extra amenities, but my personal opinion is that unless you want a big suite, if you were to buy this cabin and um, all the amenities that come with the spa suite, you still pay less than the price of the spa suite that includes those amenities plus not all the suites have outdoor space that's private to you and i can tell you now that this porch has been the highlight of our trip with having coffee out there in the morning and wine out there at night and that view we have seen elk we've seen deer every kind of duck and bird you can imagine and then also this morning we saw um, a fox and a um, wild cat playing or chasing each other and anyway there you go that's your tour and feel free to comment leave questions um, we don't always get notified right away if a comment or question has been left but we try to check and get back to you as soon as we notice them and thanks for watching like and subscribe <laughs>